Hello everyone and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlett Tanager and I'm here with some Final Fantasy IX. When we last left off, we rescued Garnett! Yay! And it looks like we have to help her get some summons back. Now, I'm not actually going to read any of the uh, messages of the, the story. There's five parts of the story we have to gather in this area. I'm not going to read any of them. Mostly because you have them all together at the end and then you can read them. Reading them more than once is not as fun as reading them only once. Also, bats. Attack the bats, attack the bats. So, I just got back from PAX yesterday. Really late yesterday, nearly 11 at night. And I gotta say, PAX. Oh, Pax, you are amazing. Penny Arcade Expo was so much fun. I got so much swag. I'm gonna make a vlog video video about it, but I don't want to spoil that video for all y'all. But it's gonna be pretty amazing. I met a whole bunch of the developers. I met one. I met. At Penny Arcade Expo, I met Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy. One of them, at least. Which was all kinds of awesome! Hi. Stories exhibition. We got human. Okay, I guess we're not human, but we just achieved humanity. That's a good thing, right? Cooperation! I've got an ogre. I already have an ogre. <laughs> Do. Do. This is not a hard section of the game, but there are a lot of random fights in it. If the game doesn't like you. I've gotten through here without a single random battle before. That's really hard to- Hi, Zagnal. How are you? You are Zagnal. I'm going to attack you now. Have a- um, oh, I don't have- I don't have- wait, what? I thought I had that- mm, I thought I had the thing equipped. Oh, well. There we go! Good on you, Vivi! That boy is powerful. Yay, people learned things! And stuff. And things. My voice feels like it's very low today. I wonder what that is. Probably because I just got back from talking all weekend at PAX. Give me the item! Donka! And there should be a thing here. Yep. Silence. Which means we only have two more to get. Yay! And then we get our first summon. Which means going this way. And getting into another fight. Four minutes and we've already been in three fights. Oh well, at least the man's a good HP. Hi guys! Hi bats. I'm gonna laugh if Garnet takes out that bat. <laughs> okay, you take out that bat. Oh, I was hoping Garnet would kill the bat. Darn it. Oh well, Zidane can just murder him. I think that's the first team- first time Vivi's done over a thousand damage. Pretty sure the first person to do it was Freya, but... Yay, we have more money to add to our ridiculous pile of monies. We will never run out of money. Ever. Oh yay, I have two people watching my unannounced stream. Oh hi, you are Ramu. And the last one should be over here. If I remember correctly. Back to where we came. Hi. Ah. Hmm. 11 a.m. for me. It's far too early. Now I've got all the pieces of the story already, so... Let's have it! So you found all five. Let's hear the story. Jennifer, Jennifer, tell me a story. 
However, the story comprises a four parts. One of them doesn't belong. Be sure to choose only four. Okay. Beginning, obviously the beginning. Um, cooperation, obviously. Silence, obviously. And this one we get to choose. This is a personal choice thing. I usually choose this one. Because I agree with it more than the hero ending. Okay, now we're going to read the story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. They headed for a cavern in the snowfield. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Adamantoys in the snowfield cavern and acquired the goddess Belle they needed to enter the Empire's castle. On their way home, they fell to, into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter, Nellie, about the tragedy. Historian's Explanation The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. That one I agree to much more than the hero one. Are you satisfied with your choices? Yes. Let me ask you one thing. How come you chose human for the conclusion? Now we get Garnett's explanation. People pass down the stories for the people to whom they feel an affinity. The people in the story have flaws, as we all do. That is why they became heroes in people's minds. Cool. I want to know what you think, in your own words. Me? I am away from my country, but I haven't forgot about my people. Aw, she's gonna make an amazing queen. Your soul is very tense right now. Maybe you'll relax once I become your idolon. We get a summon! There are many paths. Remember that you alone choose the path on which you walk. We got a summon! We got a summon! Let's go to Limblum. Hey, old man! You gone already? What's wrong? I wanted to ask him why he made daggers play such a silly game. Heroic? Human? Those are just things people say after the fact. Why try to give meaning to what the main character of the story chose? I think the old man would have become our idol in either way. That's the impression I got. Slon! Vivi, let's go! And they just stay there. You're exactly right. It's not what the people say afterward. What's important is being true to oneself. She may not have realized it, but when she wished to learn how to use summon magic, the summon power returned to her. Summon magic can be used for good or evil. She's still young, but there is room for growth. So I chose her as my master. I'll be watching over her. I hope you two will also protect her. Yeah, of course. We're not gonna go to Limblum just yet. We got one more extra little thing to do. Look, it's Limblum Castle. Oh shit! This, this is a phone. F -f phone, go and vibrate. Thank you. I don't think we can turn back once we jump off. What do you want to do? Jump off later. We've got something else we gotta go run into real quick before we go to hell in a handbasket. See, this is an extra thing that most people miss, but the Moogle that we saved at earlier, he actually has a new letter now. now. This is kind of an optional thing. It takes a little bit extra time to complete, and also a Zadmal. But I like to go do it because it's fun, and it's a little extra thing that you can go do for awesomeness. Ooh, I know that was eloquent. I don't care that it wasn't very eloquent. Hey, we got some eye drops. Oh, wait, not that way. This way, Scarlet. Go the right direction for once in your life. go over here, we talk to this dude, Magnet. Koopo, this letter is tattered, it's from Stiltskin, Koopo. I'm scared. Read it along with me. From Stiltskin to Monty. This might be the end of me. 
Why did he write that letter and mail it off through the magnet if he was dying? What's wrong, Kubo? What happened to Stinkskin? You have a letter? I want mail, Kubo! Nope. Another fight? Really? <sighs> We have got more Zagnovos, he was in the Blue These guys are running around all over the place outside Lemblum, I think they have other problems. Oh, you are electrocuting yourself. Healing himself, I think that's what it does. Oh well, he's dead anyway, so I don't care. I saw so many people, so many people were happy with my Garnet costume. I was very happy. Nobody ever recognizes me as Garnet when I'm in that cosplay, when I'm anywhere but PAX so far. But at PAX, everyone goes, oh my god, I love your Garnet, it's so good! And then I got so much attention as Hawk from Dragon Age 2. That was pretty awesome as well. Now let's jump off now. Sedan. Uh oh. Time to have a heartfelt moment. I want to protect. I want to use Sun Matter to protect everyone. I know you can do it, Dagger. Aww. Sedan. Look. Uh oh. Is that the red rose? Oh no. We're boned. The FMVs are working. Yay! That is indeed the Red Rose. Attacking Limblum! Brawn, you imperialist scumbag. They open up the thing and oh hi! Uh huh. This is terrible. But I don't. I haven't seen this cutscene in years. Oh, Braun. Mage is like burning. Uh oh. Those lights must be telepods. They're sending black mages directly inside the castle. In Clara, they use summon magic afterwards. No! Mother! Uh oh. Mother! Dagger! Time to run! Oh, and Vivi falls. Poor boy. Another FMV. One of my favorites. Oh, is it because of Garnet's face right there? Yep! There is your summon magic! Automo sucks. You don't see it now, but I'm making a troll face. God damn it, Brawn. You elephant trying not to, trying not to swear here. Yes, give her a hug, give her comfort. Give her a hug. Yeah, good boy. And just, 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 now just kiss. Just, just kiss. No. I can't have my happy ending yet. <sighs> Limblum's been destroyed. It's so quiet. Mother. I can't believe you attacked Limblum. Careful, they might still be around. Vivi, you stay here and hide. No way! It's dangerous here! There are Alexandrian soldiers everywhere. You should stay out of their sight. Cause he's a black mage! Okay. Don't fret, we'll be right back. I'm sorry, Vivi. It's okay. Just make it quick. Oh, poor boy! Of course, that immediately doesn't end well. 